this, 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 this is a Marcus. This, this, this is a Marcus. Uh, uh, Any unauthorized music. This, 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 this,
That's kind of sounding hot. Here come the bass. I'm sorry, that's a piano, my bad. That go to bass. You might not be able to hear that bass, but that bass nice. I did was took all the sounds that I dropped into the rack. I dropped all the sounds, looped them at four balls, and and there you go. There I go the track. And as you can see in the sequencer, let's kind of bring the sequencer up. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the sequencer. Uh, let's go ahead and go up to the double windows like I was telling you before. And as you can see, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this, make this a little bit bigger. If you go over to your right hand corner inside of your sequencer, uh, you'll see a plus arrow and a minus arrow. That's for your zoom. Just click on the one that says plus and you'll get it a bit bigger. Uh, as you can see, I don't even have that many sounds. Actually, the, the drum kit in the, uh, the red drum is actually consolidated into one track in the sequencer, but on the mixer, it's five tracks. But, uh, and as you can see, it's only one here. Um, you know what I'm saying, but as you can see, we got all the other sounds sitting right here, and it's not that many sounds, but it sounds it sounds like it's a lot of stuff going on. I got it looped at four balls. Now let's just say, man, you know what? I can't, I can't do anything with four balls. You know what I'm saying, Mark? You got to. I need more. I need more balls than that. You know what I mean? It's just as easy as taking the, uh, the R flag and moving it to how many balls you want. You know, you can move it to, you know, you can put it right there. And now you're probably saying, say, well, how many, how do I know? I mean, you can always just go four, eight, so forth and so on. But it's it's not even that complicated. All you need to do is left click, highlight all your sounds, go up to edit, then go to copy, and then go back up to edit and push paste. Now, if you look down here at the bottom, you'll see where it has your time. It says right now it's at 12 minutes. All you gotta do, actually, that might, yeah, all you, no, that's 12 seconds, I'm sorry. All you have to do is continue to, to cut and paste, and it'll tell you right down there at the bottom how long your song is. All you have to do is push Control V and just paste all the way through. And as you can see, it's going up. It's going up, and I'm gonna take it all the way to 4. There we go, we had 410. Okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze this in a little bit if you look down here at the bottom you have another zoom but this zoom is for you know the song itself how much of the song can you see inside of the window and as you can see I went ahead and shrink that down so I can see the whole song right here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the R flag and I'm gonna move it here so if I wanted it to loop right there it actually loop the entire song you also see another staff that's got an E on it that's that stands for the end of the song so you also want to take that and move it to the end all right, now the song is four minutes, and and all I did was take four bars, take a track, loop it, and then now we have four minutes. I mean, it's it's just it's that easy, man. If you if you did any producing back in the day, you got to know that you know what I'm saying. It was it was a little it was kind of easy back in the day, but it wasn't this easy. You know what I'm saying? This is taking it to a whole nother level when you're speaking about how easy it is to take a track cut and paste and just move like that you know what I'm saying so uh, that's pretty much you know how the sequence will work now we can, we can go through and do some different things as far as editing and doing the song but I'm gonna save that for another tutorial uh, all I want to do is really just take this part four and show you the track have it tracked out have all the sounds lined up and have the track playing so that you can see it all moving and say okay alright so once I start putting in all my sounds and I start getting everything you know ready that's all I got to do I push play I'm looping at four and then I could really work with my track at, at a four, in four bar increments and then really just have my stuff sound real good if you go ahead and close that it take you right back over here uh, to where you were in reasons and um, you ready to go so man I'm not even going to be long with this and I'm going to go ahead and play the track and that's going to send us out and then hey look forward for more tutorials it's your boy Marcus Elbow I am out